Hello everyone, I am A. Ramesh, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Ace Engineering College. Now, I would like to explain about the online coding platforms. To get practiced with the programming, we have the best online coding platforms like HackerRank, CodeChef, LeetCode, Hacker Earth, Top Coder, Code Forces, Coder Byte, Geeks for Geeks, and SPOJ, that is Peer Online Judge. Today, I would like to explain about the best online coding platform, that is Hacker Rank. Let us see about the Hacker Rank. So, how to enter into the Hacker Rank? is by using the URL called HackerRank.com. If we go through the HackerRank.com URL, then the site will be opened like this. Here, how to solve the problems in the HackerRank platform is, first of all, if you are the beginner, you have to get sign up. That means you must be registered with the hacker rank. If you have already registered with the hacker rank, then you can log in directly. Now, if you are the beginner, then how to do that? So here, you can see one thing that is login and sign up. If you are the beginner, then you have to select on sign up and then you have to enter what is your first name and last name and then your email id and your password based on your choice and then create an account simply by using these three steps you can register with the hacker rank suppose if you don't want to enroll like that there are other options also like by using your facebook account or your gmail account or your LinkedIn account, or if you have the GitHub, then using any of these four choices also, you can log in directly. Now, if we want to enter into this, or if we want to sign up, and then if we want to log in into it by using Gmail, then simply we can click on this Gmail. Then the site will be opened like this. Now, I have already the hacker rank platform login credentials so that I have entered like this. If you have sign up and then if you have entered your login credentials, you will also get the page like this only. Now, here we have the options like if you want to practice the problem statements by using any of the programming language, you can select prepare. Or if you want to get certified with some programming language, then we have the second option called certified. And also, if you want to attend or attempt some competitions, then we can click on compete. Then it will open the competitions or contests. First, let us understand prepare. Because if we are the beginners, we have to know how to make use of the hacker rank platform. So here we have the options like the particular programming language we can select. Like here we, you can see the C programming. In that what are the problem statements we are having. We can use all those problem statements and whatever the problem statement you want to practice then we can select on that. So here before going to use this one. Let us understand some of the important points like here you will find one thing that is status. Under this status, there are two options like solved, unsolved means whether the problem is solved or unsolved, there is no matter. All the solved and unsolved problem statements will be displayed here. If you have clicked only unsolved, then the solved will be eliminated and whatever the problem statements are unsolved, those will be displayed on the screen. From that you can select whatever the problem you want to solve that we can select. 
and we have another option that is skills. Here we have selected C programming so that whether you want to solve the basic programs using C language or intermediate problems using C language. What is your skill? Based on that also we can solve some problems. And then what is the difficulty level? The difficulty level we have three options here that is easy, medium and hard. So if you are the beginner, my best suggestion is select the easy and under skills select basic then you will get the easiest problem statements so that you can able to solve the problems easily so that you can get encouraged by getting some points. And we have another option like subdomains like in C programming whatever the domains we are having separately under that like what are the introduction problem statements those will be displayed simply are conditional and loops arrays and strings if we want to solve the specific problems we can select that only okay so this is one option under the c language now i would like to tell you one more thing that is problem solving here you can see the problem solving under this also we are having multiple problems we can solve those by using different programming languages for example i have taken the problem solving here under this we have some problem statements like for example i would like to select the between two sets I would like to select this one then you will get one area like there we have the problem statements the problem statement will be like this and the coding area will be like this under this so whatever the programming language you are proficient you can use that programming language like here you can select the programming language like if you want to select by using C language you can select that C++ or Java like this we can select whatever the programming language we are interested to solve this problem okay for example if we are using C language then the platform will be like this so here you can see the problem statement First thing we have to understand this problem statement. What is the problem statement given? So first of all by reading this one we can able to understand how to solve the particular problem. So in the first time you may not be understand the problem statement how to solve this one. We can read it again so that you will get some idea. Here what are the uh, parts we are having like first one problem statement under that one example will be given and what is the function description what we want to return from the program and what is the input format some constraints and also we are having the sample input and outputs suppose the sample input is given like this what would be our output output will be there and then they will give the even what is the explanation for the given sample input also so by seeing this one we can able to understand how to solve the problem after understanding the problem statement here we can enter our code so how to solve the given problem if we understood that then we can solve here so while solving the problem first thing we have to select the language which you want to use so my best suggestion is in which programming language you are proficient you can select that language for example c language we can select that c language and then they will give you how to write the code for example here get total x here you have to enter the program that is your code so after entering the code so based on your idea 
after understanding the problem statement we have to write the logic so that logic can be written this side and then after implementing the code what we have to do is we have to select the run code run code after clicking on the run code you will be displayed with the uh, screen that whether the problem is solved properly or not by using the public test cases it is going to check if all the public test cases are satisfied then you can go and submit your code if you have submitted your code that code can be executed by using the private test cases if your logic is okay with the, even with the private test cases also uh, you will get one statement that congratulations you have solved the problem and you will get some score also let us see the demo on how to run the code and how to submit the code in hacker rank platform so after understanding the problem statement we have to implement the code so where we have to complete the function there we will enter the code after writing the complete logic what we have to do is we have to click on run code suppose if our logic is good then it is going to show the message that congratulations you have passed the sample test cases if you got this message then the next step is we can submit our code so how to submit our code is by clicking on submit code after submitting the code what it is going to check is it is going to check our logic with all the private test cases so here we have five private test cases if all the private test cases are passed then we will get one message that congratulations with that our one problem will be solved perfectly after that it is going to ask whether you want to solve the next challenge like this we can use the hacker rank online coding platform like this we are having different best online coding platforms we will see those online coding platforms in our next session thank you very much for watching the video